Mickey Mouse Capade. This came out in 1988 by Hudson Soft and Capcom. Now, I used to play this game a long time ago when my aunt owned an antique store. We lived on top, and I used to go down on the bottom because she had an NES for sale, and this game was with it. And um, I could not get past the third level. It was it was this maze level, and it was pretty hard. So fast forward, here we are almost 20 years ago. That was back in 1994. Everybody was concerned with 16-bit. Nobody wanted NES. So... Um, here we are almost 20 years later. I'm going to show you, give you a walkthrough on how to beat it. And it can be quite difficult, too. So, but let's see if we can do it. The first level's kind of long, um, but we can get through it, though. It's almost as long as the last level. I think the last level is a little bit longer. So right now, we don't have a, uh, we don't have a weapon, so we just have to jump over these guys. Now, you control Mickey, and Minnie just follows you around. So in this level, this part, this is where we're going to get the thing. But watch out, you got to juke this thing out so you don't get hit by it. Now we have a star power. Now we can shoot. So let's just go up here. Now these spiders, they're only vulnerable when they go down. Like right here, you can hit them all day long and you won't do anything. You have to wait for them to come down. Now you can take out some of the lights and sometimes it'll give you power-ups. There are also invisible power-ups. Um, which we'll run into. So there's some cake. Um, go through this, and there's a key on the other side as well. But you see this thing right behind here? Hit this, and there's an extra guy here. Here we go. Get this one up. So, like, you can take these lights out, and sometimes you'll find power-ups. And you'll notice sometimes that um, um, you'll find some invisible things. All of a sudden, you're, it seems like you're hitting something. And those contain power-ups as well. And But I don't recommend getting them unless you really need them. Because every once in a while... See, like this. See, we're hitting something, but we don't know what it is. It could be either a blue, di or a pink diamond or a clear diamond. Clear diamond will kill all the enemies in a room. A pink diamond will give you all your health back. Um, but there's also an enemy in them. And if an enemy pops out, he grabs Minnie from you. And then you have to find more of the invisible spots that are just... They're just randomly located throughout the level. And then you have to go through... Um, you have to choose between four statues. And one of them, Minnie is in. But chances are you're not going to find her. I, it, it usually takes me about... Just run through this guy. Don't worry about fighting him. These guys need to get hit on the broom handles. On the top of the broom handles. Um, and it usually takes me five or six, even seven times to get her back. So I've learned that it's not worth getting those power-ups unless you absolutely need them. Because you gotta, you gotta find out where those things are, and chances are you're not, it's not gonna be the right thing. So like, say if you're missing her, like here's a spot. Okay, there we go. Now you have to do it, and there's always gonna be a key, and that key will take you to that room where you have to choose. Ow, get out of my life. So in this next room, it's 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 a chance. We're either we're either gonna get a shot for mini or there's gonna be an enemy that pops out. Let's see what happens. And if there is an enemy, we're gonna have to just leave the room and come back. And sometimes it takes three or four times. Nope, see, there's the enemy. Let's get out of here and turn back. And we're gonna do this until we get a shot for mini, because this is extremely important to get this. Yes, cool. It only took two times. So now, she shoots as well. Which is very vital to a glitch that's in the game that um, it makes the boss fights a lot easier. Ooh, that was close. Dang it. I tried to juke it out. Give me a slice. So I like to stand right there and just shoot them because it, it gets their broom handles a lot easier. Or you can stand on the top of them and shoot them that way, and usually you'll get the broom handles that way. So here is the witch. She's not too hard, but she can be difficult. But here's the glitch. So go up and make Minnie go up there. Oh, come on. There you go. Now just take her out. And it's kind of hard to control her. You can control her, but kind of. Not the way you can control Mickey. Um, and 
you'll just find experience the more that you play it that that you can control her you can somewhat control her and you can make her go into opposite rooms and then so since she's invincible you can just take out the bosses that way and we're gonna do this i think uh uh like two maybe two one or two more times in the game Now we have to make it all the way back to where we were. There we go. Not this time. So, like this, I said stand on top of this, and it's really easy to take them out. Let's just boogie on up to the front. Now, you can't leave the, a room unless Minnie's with you. Stand on top of here and take them out. And, yeah, just go past this cat. Heat Cliff. Get past Heat Cliff. Cliff, heat cliff, no one should terrorize the neighborhood. You can realize, you can do, wait, you can, you should realize he can do, win it with you. Remember heat cliff? Who doesn't, who doesn't remember heat cliff? The cat that would terrorize the neighborhoods. There we go. So now that we have the key, all we have to do is go through here and then jump into right here. Was that a window or something? The next level is outside. You have to jump over these waves, which can be kind of hard, but if you know what you're doing, it's not really that hard, not that difficult, especially because there's power-ups that can help you. <clears throat> but the most important is to learn how to jump over the waves. If you don't learn how to jump over the waves, then you're pretty much screwed. So they start coming right now, so, oh, that's not cool. So just kind of jump over. Now jump long to get over this one. Short one, then up. I'm going to die. Nope, nope. I guess not. If Minnie doesn't make the jump, I need a power-up bad. If Minnie doesn't make the jump, then, uh, then you die automatically. I need something good. I need something... Oh, you're not going to give it to me? Yes. Just what the doctor ordered. That's okay. We can get hit because now all we have to do is just take this guy out. Don't worry about getting hit by him. Just take him out. Don't get hit by him. Don't touch him. Meaning, don't touch him. If he touches you, you'll die instantly. Just hold back and just fire at him. Especially if you're heavy, you have a bunch of health, don't worry about it. Um, just fire it. But if you're low on health, try to watch out for the bubbles. So this level is a maze. This is that third one that I could never get past. Because there's a certain route that you have to take. Come on, man. Come on, Toadstool. So don't go through this one. We're going to be going through the next one, though. Little known fact, Toadstool is actually bald. Go through this one. I did a, um, I used to do, so my channel started out doing video game reviews. And, um, I would, I made this, these, a couple videos called, like, oh, video game facts that you might not know about. And, uh, I did two of them. And, shoot, I was talking too much. Nope, it's not this one, it's the next one. Um, and, uh, it was actually very, it was received very badly. Go through this. Um, barely any, but to this day, it's still one of my least watched videos. But I enjoyed watching them. And on my third one, I was going to make... Um, I made two of them. Don't get hit by those lions. If they touch you, you will die. But it's okay to get hit by the projectiles. They'll just hurt you. Um, uh, the first one was, t I think, 20 video game facts you might not know. And the second one was called 10 video game facts you might not know. Um, so, uh, but in the, in the, the third one I was going to make, that was one of the things in it, was, uh, I got touched, I touched him, I touched him, that's why I told you don't do it. Um, anyways, the, the facts were, um, uh, was, come on, Minnie, do your job. 
Um, uh, did you know that what's his name is actually bald? Get out of my life. What's happening? What is happening here, huh? I need to just sh quit talking. I'm gonna. I'm. Those lions are done. You, I mean, I am. I have a vendetta. They're done for. Yeah, that's right. Full health. I'm not messing around anymore. Yeah, he's bald. It's just a hat that he's wearing. So. Yes. There we go. Now, here it is. There's a secret door right here that we gotta go through. So at the second bunch batch of the lions, go through this. Now we're on the winter wonderland. Man, I'm still mad that those lions hit me twice. Twice. That's okay. If we just blow through the rest of this game, that'd be fine. Don't go through that. You have to... Oh, lions again, huh? You're done. You understand? See, Minnie, why are you turning the, the opposite way? It's her fault. Nope, not today, lion. Nope, don't go through that. Go through this. There it is. Here we are. Now this is the last part. Much welcome. I'll take it. Okay, so now you just go through here. Because here's Snake Rattle and Roll. Don't get touched by him. Just keep jumping him and hitting him in the head. Yes. Don't touch him. That's the same thing with a lion. It'll instantly kill you. Man, I'm still mad about those lions. But, you know, hey, that's life. So, we're at the pirate ship, and that's the second to the last level. This level is fairly easy, you just gotta... Don't really deal with anybody. Just... Oh, no. Twice? We got hit twice? Okay, take him out. Just don't even worry about these guys. No, there's another one here. Okay. Now, just go up to this. And then now we're going to do that same glitch that we did earlier with Minnie. Come on, Minnie. Get up there. See, you can control her, but not really. There we are. Yeah. Mickey. Mickey's a coward. He lets, he lets Minnie take care of all the dangerous stuff. That He would have been hard. Bluto would have been hard. I think that's his name. Bluto? He would have been hard if we didn't have that glitch. Now here's the last level of the game, and it can be quite hard um, if you don't know what you're doing, but we're gonna try our best to make it through it. Now you can get stuck with the windows, but I don't recommend getting just everything. Um, uh, any of those power-ups. If you are low on life, go and uh, Uh, get the windows, but don't get the power-ups, because if you lose Minnie, you're gonna have to, you can't beat the game without her. So get her kind of, get her lined up, and, and that's how you can make these jumps. See, there's a thing right here? Don't get it, because it could take away Minnie, and if it does, oh, you are, you're not gonna have a fun time. Minnie doesn't have to go with you if you don't want her to. That hit him. 
Mickey can get this key by himself. Alright, cool. So, now we can go back. You can't leave a room if you don't have many. him and then run through him. If he hits you, you will die automatically. But once you get hit, you're invincible for just a second. You could run past him. So we th throw things. Wait for the for the timing where he throws things. One, two, three. Now go through him. Oh, we're gonna die now. That's okay. I think that it'll leave us somewhere. Oh, no, 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 no. We're, we're where we need to be. Take him out. Okay. We're at the very end. Maleficent. We have to get hit by her and do the same thing we did with Bluto. Once we get hit by him, then we could run through her. So let's try to do this. All right, Maleficent. Let's go through her. Yes! Now, tap right and hit her in the back of the head. Just take her out. Look at our life, look at our life. We did it. We beat the game. We beat the game. I thought for sure she was gonna get us. I'm like, oh no, there's no time. I'm like, she's got us. We beat Maleficent. Now look at this. Welcome to the world's worst ending. Uh, Alice in Wonderland? Like, really? Alice in Wonderland? We're in some weird uh, Disney multiverse to where Beauty and the Beast characters were there? And then now Alice in Wonderland? Like, Maleficent was from Beauty and the Beast. So what are we doing with her? So, okay, let's just say, let's just say... Okay, I believe... Okay, whatever. We are in some weird multiverse. Give me a good ending, at least. Okay, there's her. So now what? Hit start? End? That's all there is? It just says end? Like, this was 1988. There was already some... Uh, Disney was well-established. They had tons of money. And they did it by... And they made it uh, uh, by, from a company that was notoriously made really good video games and we get this ending we get this ending like come on man so that's it and then it just rolls around so it's a hard game i told you it's a hard game um but it's fun though it's real fun it's a nice short fun game and with that um you know uh mickey's mouse capades 1988 capcom game complete thanks for watching and i'll see you next game